Hello everybody, I am Ace Creeper and today I'm back with a brand new Doctor Who news video. It's been a while since we've done one of these, but we're back. Uh, not for good, I don't know. This is just a bit of a weird one. I didn't think I was going to make a video about this, but I saw the news and I was like, wow, that is, uh, that's pretty big. <laughs> it's pretty big. Um, it's technically Series 12 related, but we'll get on to that. So, basically there is a character in Doctor Who history that a lot of people are aware of, you know, ins and outs and all that sort of thing. It's never been directly mentioned in the show. But the name has appeared several times uh, through novelizations, through um, novels, through I believe Big Finish as well. I'm not 100% sure on that one. But it's a character that sort of popped up around the time. So when people talk about the Time Lords and they talk about the Founding Fathers of Gallifrey, three names come to mind. Three Founding Fathers of Gallifrey. One of which being Rassilon, of course, who we've seen on screen various times, notably played by Timothy Dalton and Donald Stumpter in the new series. Obviously, he was in the Five Doctors as well as a sort of like a spirit, but he was the founding father of Gallifrey. And uh, Omega, who is another founding father of Gallifrey, you've probably heard of him. He's appeared in the Fifth Doctor's era, the Third Doctor's era. He was in the Three Doctors, very notably. Um, he's the Time Lord who sort of almost invented the TARDIS and the time travel theorems and all that sort of thing uh, to give the Time Lords their sort of. Uh, glorious abilities. And the third of which was referred to always as the Other, an identity which was never claimed by any person, um, spirit, etc. Everyone kind of thought it was the Doctor, but there is now a somewhat official answer to who the Other actually might be. So as you're all aware, Doctor Who Series 12 came out earlier this year in January. Uh, we saw all the way through the series and we saw the Timeless Children, which changed a lot of things about canon, making up new and interesting angles of looking at it. Love or hate it, that is the show now, and that's what we have. Today, the scripts for Series 12 were actually released online by the BBC Writers' Room. All ten of the scripts, including that of The Timeless Children. And there's a lot of interesting little details, but one that has a sprung to mind and definitely been shared quite a lot around Twitter uh, is one regarding the identity of the other, or more specifically, Tech Yun. In The Timeless Children, Tech Yun is seen to obviously come up with the idea of regeneration via extracting it from the Timeless Child, or the Doctor. Um, she extracts it, uses it on herself, and regenerates for the very first time. The next shot we have is talking about Gallifreyan society. What's happening with it? It's they're building the Citadel, they're becoming the Time Lords. And we see a shot of Tech Tion walking down the corridor in the famous Time Lord robe, only this time in a glorious white look, before joining two other people um, and fading into white. It was always assumed when people watched this episode that these three people were the founding fathers of Gallifrey, but, you know, myself and a lot of others actually concluded that Tectaeon might have been Rassilon. Rassilon initially, as uh, was initially spoken, to be the person to grant regeneration to Time Lords. He was the one who came up with that concept. So it seemed fitting to have Tectaeon in that role. However, looking at the exact script for the scene where Tectaeon walks down the corridor and joins the two other members, we have this. Tectian walking down a corridor. At the far end, two Gallifreyan figures with the collars up in silhouette. We can assume these might be Rassilon and Omega. There's a few things, obviously, you can take from this. It, it, it's obviously up for interpretation. Obviously, it says we can assume these might be Rassilon and Omega. And that's totally fair. You can maybe look at that in a certain way, maybe theorise about whatever you want to do. However, that's the biggest hint we've got yet, that the two other people are Rassilon and Omega, so the only other person who's there is Tectian. Meaning that in terms of canon, as far as we go so far, Tectian must be this character that we've known for a while as the other. According to TARDIS Wiki, which I know isn't the most reliable of sources, but in terms of collecting lots of Doctor Who information, it's a very good sort of jump towards it, it says the other was one of the original founders of Time Lord Society, which we know, and that works. It fits for Tectaeon, so that works, along with Rassilon and Omega, which obviously, once again, works. The origin of the other remained a mystery for later Time Lords, which again fits. Time Lord generations built upon the lie of the Timeless Child, all that sort of thing, the Doctor, the Master, and all these new generation of Time Lords that have come since were not aware of these events. Rassilon and Omega maybe wiped them from existence, but by the time the Doctor and Master go travelling the universe, Rassilon is long dead and Omega's trapped in a different dimension. The initial glory of the original Time Lord days are totally gone. This was from years ago, so no one really knows anything about the other. Maybe the Time Lords knew there were three founding fathers. You know, one of them was Rassilon, one of them was Omega, but no one knew who the other was, so it being this mysterious person called Tectaeon hidden away in the Gallifreyan Matrix, it fits. And it actually fits quite well. 
The only problem here is where we look into the books and what it's already previously stated. And this is where I would like to talk about canon in general for Doctor Who, and I've, I've, I've stressed this before. The way I look at it is the main canon is the TV show, and then the rest of it is totally up to you. You can take on whatever you want to be canon. So, for example, I don't count all of Big Finish as canon, but I count the Big Finish stories that I've listened to as canon because the ones that I've listened to so far don't contradict what I've seen on the TV show. But for me, the TV show will always take precedence. So, Tectian supposedly being the other is the main canon for me now. This sort of contradiction with the books isn't too big of a contradiction for me because it's the books. The books do, however, suggest that the other was actually the Doctor. Not just the Doctor as we know it, but the Doctor in a reincarnated form, potentially using looms and being reincarnated via um, the Doctor as a person. The Doctor being a reincarnation of the character known as the other. Hence why on the TARDIS wiki it actually says, you know, grandchildren Susan Foreman, because it actually assumes that the other actually is the Doctor in a sense. But Based on what we've seen from the episode, that's not quite true. The Doctor is the Timeless Child, not a Founding Father of Gallifrey, more of a test subject for the Founding Fathers. Tectian, Rassilon and Omega being the Founding Fathers totally, totally works. And yeah, that's interesting. That's the news. I didn't really want to know what else to say about this video. It's not really one we can talk about in much context, but mainly, I, what do you think about the news? It's interesting. I want to share it. I want to get people's opinion on it. It's... It's new, it's interesting, it's Time Lord mythology, it's, it's, it's the long ancient past of Doctor Who and it's great to be able to build on that. Now love or hate the finale, that's not what we're talking about. I'm not talking about did you love it or did you count it as canon, it's in the TV show, for, so for me, a Doctor Who reviewer and sort of news person, like it, it's going to be like canon for me, whether I like it or not. You know, Hellbent's canon, even if I don't like it. Name of the Doctor is canon, even though I don't like it. I hate the fact that Clara goes to the timeline, but like it's canon. It's there. It's on TV, so it happened. So I have to just accept that. So whether you like the episode or not, or count it as canon, whatever. This is what is being stressed, maybe in the scripts, not explicitly on screen, but maybe we'll go somewhere in Series 13 and see what happens with that. However, given the current circumstances, what do you think about Tectoyon being the other? Let me know in the comments below. I'm very, very interested to see what you guys think. And that's pretty much it from me, though. In the meantime, if you enjoyed this video, please leave a like. Comment below for any more suggestions in the future. Subscribe to the channel with notifications on if you haven't already, because YouTube is a bit of a mess. If you want to support the channel and get a few little fun bonuses, you can check out my Patreon page. For a dollar a month, you get early access content, including uh, access to the two videos this week, which is my Earthshock review, my first classic review in about over a year, and a YouTube poop, which is coming out towards the end of this week. You also get access to a Discord server and your name in my description. So if that is the kind of thing that interests you in hand for supporting this channel and the content that I make and myself, then please do feel free to check out the link to the Patreon page in the description below. I've also got Twitter, Instagram, and all that sort of lovely stuff, and that's all linked in the description as well. But that's it from me, I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you all next time. Have a lovely day, bye-bye.